the view hosts go nuts after Supreme Court reinstates Trump's travel ban. Snowflakes across the nation are going nuts after hearing that the Supreme Court has decided to uphold partially Trump's travel ban on six Muslim nations. The View hosts had a crazy, quote, time dealing with the news. They just can't handle it. What are these women's credentials to be discussing these issues and for anyone to give a crap what they have to say? Immigration is a privilege, not a right. Why is this concept so hard to get through? Leftist heads. So true. These idiots don't understand that constitutional protections do not extend to non-citizens. They all need to retake seventh grade civics classes. The literal dumbness is palatable. Watch. Supreme Court agrees to review Trump's travel ban case. Watch the liberal nut jobs here. Right before we went on air, the Supreme Court announced they will let the travel ban on six Middle Eastern countries go into effect. It will allow travelers with green cards and visas to enter the U.S., but will forbid all refugees unless they can prove that they have some connection here. Well, that, you know, that's the point that I would like to talk about because it says that um, the court limited the order's impact on foreigners with clear ties to individuals in the United States. A fortified relationship with the United Bonified. States. Yeah. But um, uh, the Zarnett brothers, they were brothers in Boston, so they each had a connection to someone in the U.S. And the Manchester bomber uh, also was, a, his brother was also a terrorist. So I don't know that that's going to work either. What cheated, well, though? This was held up and then all the... It, well, did the, the Supreme Court, I mean, this is no surprise for me because I think what you're going to find is that my opinion is that the Supreme Court is going to uphold the president's authority to, in the interest of national security, to say anyone from anywhere, hold on, you, have, you can't come in. And the reason is, I've been, I've been saying for a long time, is that the vetting process in these six countries is problematic. You have that on record from the former administration, and he at any point can say, if I want to protect the national security of this nation, I, as the president of the United States, the commander-in-chief, can say, you cannot come in until this is fixed. That's what I think is going to be a they have a two-year vetting process. In place for like, but, but those records, the planning process no, in the that's project. Not true. That's that not is true. true. Not but that's that specifically for countries like uh, Syria, where they I don't have paper records or anything exactly at all. There are not paper, and also we don't have, we the, have the, the most camaraderie with those process in the, the world not here in the, the United in the United States. That is the truth. That but that being, it's the truth. It's not true. That is not true. I would not presume to uh, to say or know what the Supreme Court is going to do, but this certainly um, sounds like a partial victory for the administration. And I also think, though, that it is a very narrow victory because what is going to happen is in 72 hours, we're going to see a lot of litigation over what a bona fide connection to the United States like, yeah, yeah, sure. means. It's be hard to so I think we all just need to take a breath. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the country needs to take a breath and mm -hmm. let the lawyers handle it. But I wonder if Trump yeah. will consider it a victory, because this was the one he called oh, watered down and politically correct. Politically correct, He said, this is not a good enough one. So I wonder if he'll actually even It's a very, his, very he will narrow victory. It looks like Gorsuch, is, his, his dividend on Gorsuch is kicking in already. There was no dissent, remember. In, on this you instance, bet your one person dissented. What's sweet patootie. Is there saying... We're going to come back and visit this in its entirety, but right now, we're going to let you do this. Mm -hmm. We're going to let you do this. And the sad thing for me about all of this is, you know, this is what they did to the Irish. This is what they did mm -hmm. to... Uh, totally uh, different people. The Italians. This is what they totally did to Totally different the people. This is what they did to the Chinese. Mm -hmm. All out of fear. Totally fate. different. So, I just hope that when we go outside today, Lady Liberty has not walked off. Yeah. With this, because refugees, you know, the nature, the nature of the refugee is they are fleeing. Mm -hmm. They are fleeing Good. a country which is repressing that. And so I just, you know, all I can say is 
We'll keep an eye on this yeah. because this this is not the end. No. It's slightly annoying, but it's not the end. Really? We can send them over to Whoopi's house. How about that? Is she kidding me? The U.S. Supreme Court will be reviewing President Trump's travel ban fully in the fall. But again, we have uh, Gorsuch in. Did you notice how they mentioned it? That's why Scalia was taken out. And that's why uh, Obama was wiretapping Scalia also at that time to understand what he's going to vote for. And Obama was so adamant about getting a judge in of his own, a Supreme Court judge. Well, the American people spoke and did not allow that to happen, to get that judge that Obama wanted. Because had Obama appointed his own Supreme Court judge, this travel ban would have been null and void. It would have been, been knocked out. That's why Gorsuch is the pick, and that's what they were all, they know they're going to lose. That's it. Gorsuch is in, they're done for. And if they feel so, uh, so strongly about it, we will send them to Hillary's house, we'll send them to Whoopi's house, we'll send them to Joy Behar's house. That's no problem. They love them so much, let them take responsibility. And also to Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, that other witch, and Maxine Waters. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.